Uh, Professor Clements with you as we consider the direction of the magnetic force on a moving charged particle. In example A, the magnetic field is off to the right. We have some positive charge that's moving down on the paper. I want to know the direction of the magnetic force. In the right hand rule that I use, I start by putting my fingers in the direction of the velocity of the object. Extend my fingers that way. And then I m turn my wrist such that I can easily bend my fingers into the direction of the magnetic field. So I would now want to put my fingers in this direction. And I now look at where my thumb is pointed, my thumb being perpendicular to my fingers. Again, I start fingers in the direction of the velocity rotate my wrist so I can easily bend into the direction of the magnetic field with my fingers and my thumb is pointed up in this uh, in this case the force on the charged particle at this time when the charged particle is moving in the plane of the paper the magnetic field is in the plane of the paper the force would be up okay second case we have the magnetic field off to the right and the velocity off to the right of a negative particle. This <coughs> situation, if I put my fingers in the direction of the velocity, so that's step one, and then do I have to rotate my wrist such that my fingers can point easily in the direction of the magnetic field? And the answer is no. And now let's further inspect this equation. The magnetic force strength, the force of the uh, interaction, charge, velocity of the particle, magnetic field, and the sign of the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. In this case, theta is zero. In the previous example, theta was 90 degrees, the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. The sign of zero produces a factor of zero and in this situation there is no force, there is no magnetic force on this charged particle. Okay, example C. Here we have a magnetic field that's going into the paper. That's the meaning of the symbol, the circle with an X in it. You're looking at the tails of the vector. So we have magnetic field going in. We have a negative particle that's traveling off to the right. So with my right hand rule I start with my fingers in the direction of the magnetic, er, sorry, in the direction of the velocity. And I rotate my wrist so I can easily bend my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. As I do that, I find that my thumb would be pointing up the page. But that's not the final answer. Because the Q is negative, I must reverse the direction of my thumb. Whenever the charge is negative, I must reverse the direction of my thumb. That's kind of implied here in the equation, because if the charge is minus, we're going to get a minus uh, result there. A little more complicated than that, but that's some way you might remember. So I have to reverse my direction of my thumb. Again, my fingers going off to the right here in the direction of the velocity. Bend my fingers into the page to follow magnetic field. My thumb would be up, but the force will be down. It's better to attach it here to the, uh, the negative charge. My force would be down the page in this uh, example. Okay, example D. I have a magnetic field that's coming out of the page. That's the circle with the dot. My velocity is down the page. And again, if I would first put my fingers and my right hand in the direction of the velocity, and now rotate my wrist so I can easily bend my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. That's out of the page. And I find that my thumb is pointed off to the left here. That would be the direction of the force, the magnetic force. So the right hand rule that I use, I put my fingers in the direction of the velocity. I rotate my wrist so I can easily bend my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field my thumb perpendicular to my fingers shows the direction of the force. You should keep practicing and look at other examples.